Is that a blue squirrel? That's a blue squirrel. Oh, they're coming for you. Ah! Ah! Is it coming at me? Fucking... Ah! <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, it's time to finally go out into the world. I'm excited. We're going to get a really long loading screen, aren't we? Oh, no. I'll have to edit this out. It'll probably take 45 minutes. We just rebooted the game too, by the way. We're trying to get in the habit of rebooting between every episode if we end it near a uh, a phone booth, just in case of memory leak issues. Because, you know, the last thing we need is the game running even worse. Oh, I guess you'll see that whole load screen because I talked through the whole thing. I, no, no, it's still going. It's still going. Oh. Much like these leaves falling upwards, it's still going. Maybe we'll just leave this load screen in just so that people know what we go through, you know? Welcome to minute one of the video. This is why we played a fan-patched version of the PC version of Deadly Premonition 1, so that it didn't run like this. Because this is about how the previous game ran on console. Did it crash? No, give it a minute. It, it may work itself out. Mm. Yay! This is not even day one. This is after patches for stability. If uh, if it did crash, the switch would tell you there was an error and we have to close the software. That was a legit full minute, by the way, that load screen. Why did we look so fat in that shot? Compared Herb. to non-smokers, smokers have a 4.7 times greater chance of getting lung disease. You know that means it's more likely than getting asbestos poisoning? The risk of death from lung cancer is actually much lower than what you think it is. In fact, it's tiny when compared to heart disease, strokes, and pneumonia. We're always surrounded by easy ways to die, you know. Some people even get randomly struck by lightning and die right there on the spot. Then I reckon you also know that secondhand smokers have 1.3 times greater the risk compared to smokers? Of course. So you won't mind paying the damages when I die of lung disease? How about writing that in a contract for me? You got a pen, right? How about don't stand next to the smoker? <laughs> I feel like that's a good way to not get lung disease. He writes it in tobacco. <laughs> I promise to protect you from all the evil in our world. Well, that's stupid. By the way, what's your name? FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Um, is something wrong with you? Adults ain't supposed to act like that. I only asked for your name so I can write it on the contract. You should have been able to figure that out if you're a real FBI agent like you said. Come on, sign here. Right here on the paper. Just as I thought, Zack. This contract paper, it's a San Rouge wrapper. San uh, Rouge is here, too. Wh what is that? This must mean that San Rouge is connected to the Lee's Clarkson murder case somehow. What? This is a sprawling case that spread across the entire South. It's within our jurisdiction, Zack. We'll need to steal the right to investigate from the local authorities at once. By the way, miss, what's your name? Patricia Woods. But I gotta write my name myself, or else it won't be a real signature. Okay. I don't know how I feel about her. Tell She's me, Patricia, kind of annoying. Does this town mm -hmm. have a sheriff? Or is it under the jurisdiction of the nearest city police? Perfect timing. Well, go on and steal it if you want it. I was just thinking about how this is way out of my daddy's league. Thank you for the information, Patricia. Okay, Zach, it's time to get to work. How should we seize control from the sheriff this time? <laughs> what? Have we established that she's the daughter of the sheriff? We have now. Oh, dodge, move camera, melee attack, run? Okay. Funny that R for run and 
dodge is the same button. The frame rate! Oh my god! So if I, like, tap it, does that... No, okay. Oh my god. Can this car leave? Please? It's killing my frame rate. I don't know if it's just the car. If it's the car. <laughs> Hey there. So, uh, you're the fella from the FBI I've been hearing so much about. I'm Melvin. They call me the sheriff around here. Is... is she adopted? Maybe she has a white mom. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan? But call me York if you can. That's what everyone calls me. Did the white huh? mom... Cheat on him with a white guy? Uh, all right. Because <laughs> she's I not even know. remotely How's dark. Fine by me. Maybe he's yeah, half sure you white. This out. <laughs> Maybe. Town's a small one. Dormant genes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really recessive. Well, already busy spreading gossip about how some FBI agents come to town. We've been here for like an hour. Now, uh, I reckon you came from the city. What was it? D.C., L.A., or New York? Anywho, in the city, it's normal not to know who your neighbor is. Fella who moves in next to you could cook up a dozen folks in his backyard, and no one would bat an eye. That's I, the city for you. I don't know if I agree with now, that. Now, I never lived in one myself, but I <laughs> visited him a few times, so I know what it's like. All pigs must die in the city of wolves. Yeah! Now, does that sound badass or what? I bet you'd... Hey! <laughs> I know, I know, CLG. I'm just trying to make a little small talk, that's all. The fuck? Anywho, around these parts, everyone knows each other's name. So lots of folks get leery when they see an étranger like you. And since it's my duty to protect the town... I thought I'd stop by and say hello. Zach, it looks like this sheriff is quite the happy-go-lucky type. A clear indication of just how <laughs> peaceful this town is. I like how they're acknowledging it yeah. now. Melvin, about the Lee's Clarkson case. I knew you were here for that case. Can't put one past the FBI. Mm. How'd you know he was FBI? So they even got eyes on the smallest of towns like us, huh? Because there's the rumor is FBI is in town. Our world is filled with information. Oh, here we and go. It's all within their grasp. He watches one too many FBI, movie trailers. The Federal Bureau of Investigation. The Lee's Clarkson case is connected to a top secret case that we've. I know, I know. If you're fixing to take the lead, <laughs> then go right ahead. I'm just huh. a humble sheriff of a tiny little That town. was easy. My jobs are to stop my neighbors from beating the piss out of each other and listen to old folks complain. Honestly, this whole murder case has been weighing me down. So I'm going to give you my full cooperation, Mr. Special Agent, sir. Well, Zach, that was anticlimactic. I didn't mm. even get to use my secret weapon. My fists. <laughs> I was going to shoot him. Melvin. There's a cold storage warehouse on the southern end of town, isn't there? I'd like to get permission to enter it. Say what? You want to see where the body's being kept, right? Oh, I get it now. Lisa's body, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, that's what I call a special agent. You already figured that much out. Mm. Right, because no one... Did no one tell us the body's but, there? Uh, hmm. I'm... Not too sure that we're here uh, on vacation, so going mm -hmm. down there at this point is really gonna help much, you know. Explain it yourself, Daddy. That's incredible. I don't believe this. Amazing. Did you hear that, Zach? They put the body in a cold storage warehouse. This is fantastic. Insanely fantastic. R really. Well, uh, how about that? <laughs> well, all right then. I'll head on down to the warehouse ahead of you and make sure we get permission to search it. Okay. Sounds good. The management company only keeps the warehouse open during certain hours, so you'll have to come during those hours. 
I ain't looking to create any further discussion. I don't know if it's worth noting, but he's from the downtown. Orleans County yeah. Police Office. Okay. Come on, let's roll. As in New Orleans. I'm going to walk home, Daddy. I still got another stop to make. Oh, if you say so, sweetie. <laughs> She's a real sharp one, as you ah. can see. So I try to stay out of her way. <laughs> Sorry, I hadn't touched the controller well, in a while. all right then, York. I'll see you at the warehouse. So good to know that if you push any button or stick, it's just going to tell you, hey, you can skip by holding A. Yeah, weird. Uh, oh, oh, skip more <coughs> basics. It says Y. Okay. Oh, whoa, the frame rate. Ugh. So do I like hold it? No, I, every time I tap it, I speed up. Oh my god, the <laughs> frame rate. Hey, you. Oh, I thought I crashed. You ain't secretly cutting kids up and sticking them into jars while you work as an FBI agent on the surface. You're the second you? person who's accused oh. me of that, technically the second. Using I mean, the FBI first. FBI connections to sell kids to child trafficking organizations? Shit, she got us. I've arrested people who've done both, but I've never engaged in either of those activities myself. Would you like to be my I test subject? <laughs> doing such things in order to learn more about the psychology of the criminals I deal with. It was just a joke. Why are you getting all serious? And don't tell me what you imagine, or else I'll get scared of you for real. I just thought of something. Mm -hmm. So in the present day of this game, this case is reopened, right? Mm -hmm. Because there, there's some kind of extra information that's come out. She'd be older. Does that mean that in the future, Zach is cracking open a cold one with the boys? It's a literal cold case. Literally. <laughs> hey, can I come with you? You signed a contract with me, remember? And besides, I'm kind of worried about my daddy. He's a little dumb. I feel like Maya Faye is a better uh, partner than you will ever be, Patricia. Yeah, I I don't know. Do whatever you like. This is America, land of the free. Maybe she'll win us over, I don't know. But I have one hmm? condition. What condition? Don't ask me about Zach. It's a private matter. Fair. Zach, it feels like she's carrying something with her. Kind of reminds me of you back when we first met. I can't leave her alone like this. Do you think that she has a Zack in her head too? Maybe her parents uh, got red seated. Oh, maybe. You feel the same way, don't you? Maybe it is. She is an adopted kid, you know? Mm -hmm. They don't seem to have a traditional father daughter relationship at the same point. At the same time, it's a sweary game, so, mm -hmm. you know, people are weird. Main quest. Ooh. I'm sorry, was there not a tea? There wasn't. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this music. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about the frame rate right now. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Did you see <laughs> I'm sorry, we're going too fast for the game to handle. Oh no. All right, what's the top speed on this thing? <laughs> oh man, that pop in. Melvin called you a strange name. CLG, I think. What exactly does that mean? Clever little girl. That's what it stands for, at least. It's nice that he made up his own nickname for me and all, but it sounds kind of weird. I wish he'd call me something normal, like just Patricia or Patty, you know? Patty? Now that name's got a ring to it. I like it. How about Zach and I call you Patty from here on out? Do whatever you like. Weirdo. You're heading to the warehouse, oh. right? You gonna go straight there? No. Well, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to talk to Zach. We're also on a mission Our to mouth is moving. maidens, you see. I'm Where eager she? to visit Alexis's diner in Lane, but we've uh. only just arrived in this town, so... <laughs> I don't know where oh, she so is. She's, she's Zach's roommate what? now, okay. I thought you came here to investigate. Patty, you're still just a child. Why do you worry so much? We're born to be free, and this is America, land of the free. We're sinking into the pavement. free to do whatever you want. Isn't that right, Zach? Maybe I shouldn't have come with you. I'm getting kind of nervous now. 
Huh. I just wanted to go to the nearest building and see what it was. I don't- I didn't know if getting off my skateboard would- Oh! I didn't know if getting off my skateboard would end the conversation, you know? Mm-hmm. All right. What's, what's in the sheriff department? I, I figured we'd start exploring the town. Police officers, if I had to guess. What do you think the load screens are like going into random buildings? Do you think it's always bad? I assume it's worse coming out of them. Probably, because it has to load a bigger world going out of them, doesn't it? And remember, if it chugs at the end there, yeah. Okay, that wasn't horrible. I've seen worse. Uh, ooh. Just in case. Steal that person's uh, briefcase. Yeah. Oh, it's a toolbox. Oh, it's for storing items. Okay, just like the previous game. Got it. Um, I just want to start meeting suspects, you know? I got to start meeting the town folk. You can accept free quests at the bulletin board for cash and items. Huh. Didn't know that was a thing. Defeat a squirrel. <gasps> Punch a squirrel. You get low quality bread. <laughs> I'm sorry, low quality bead. Bead. This is a high quality bead if I get rid of the dog. I mean, defeat a UFO. Defeat a UFO. I want a high quality bead. The night terrors. Okay. Time limit 24 hours. I did it. I took the quest. That run cycle seems very weird. I know, right? It drains our stamina, too. But it seems to recharge fast. Any, uh... Any beds pushed up against the wall down here? No? Okay. Well, we're definitely gonna be back here one day. Okay. Nothing back here? Mm -hmm. Maybe they did a better job this time of, uh... Not letting you wander in completely useless rooms for ages, you know? Mm -hmm. The previous game was pretty bad about that. You remember the fucking size of the hospital? Yeesh, yeah. The hospital was pretty difficult to use because of that. I'm surprised there wasn't a little more to do in there. I do wonder if maybe we're going to meet more of the characters in town later. It's just, you know, there's a lot of hidden little things you can do early in the first game of peeking in windows and talking to people early that will actually give you useful clues that are completely easy to miss. Um, so I'm just, you know, trying to make sure that maybe we notice a couple of those things early if there are any in this game, just like there was in the previous game. Wonder when our first crash is gonna happen. Whoa! Oh man, that frame rate. Whose house is this? Are there gonna be just a lot of like generic houses? I'm gonna steal your mail. <laughs> yeah, I hey! got a high quality bead! Now I don't need to shoot a dog. <laughs> Where'd she go? She evaporated. Spirited away. So I did see a couple people comment on one of the early videos just saying that we might want to wait for a stability patch. And I'm starting to see why. It's, uh. But it's literally the sequel to my... Hold on, what's that on the map? Oh, those look like enemies. Squirrels. But yeah, it's like literally the sequel to my favorite game, so I kind of want to play it before I get spoiled, you know? Is that a blue squirrel? That's a blue squirrel. Oh, they're coming for you. Ah! Ah! Is it coming at me? Fucking! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, you can use vision to acquire important hints. Okay. Is that relevant right now? Huh. I don't think it's that relevant. There's a lot of X's on the minimap. So... I don't know if I can, like, pull a gun on them. Mm. Rare kill Rare bonus. Kill. I got this fur. Ah! Why are they coming at me? 
Uh, chicory tail. I thought that said chickadee. Yeah. Get, 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 get. Whoa. Oh, he stole a lollipop <gasps> and a rubber bullet. Oh, motherfucker. And a donut. Okay, I got it back when I killed him, though. Get over here. Get over here. I didn't think I was going to be doing this in Deadly Premonition 2. I'll tell you right now. But I'm not complaining. More action in the overworld. Ah! Yeah. There's another one on the map, it seems. I think it's, so, like, right under you. Maybe not. Mm, hmm. Oh. Nice. I must have missed a loot pickup. Is there one right here, or...? I think it's oh. identifying, yeah, loot pickups. So there's something behind this house. Okay. Huh. Okay. Hmm. I got it. <laughs> this is totally not. Uh... Okay. Is it like right hey, here? Bravo. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> That's not what that sounds like. Uh, grass now doesn't sound does. like this. Okay, there we go. So I don't know what those things do. Is there going to be like a crafting system? Hmm. That'd be cool. Maybe. Okay. I want to go to that building. I think that might be the bowling alley, actually. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's in that direction, and it's the exact distance away. I'm trying to break the sound barrier. <laughs> oh, no, I shouldn't be trying to break the sound barrier. The game is choking. Gas, gas, gas. I'm gonna step on the gas. Oh, my God. Ah. Man, York's great at turning. And also wiggling. Whoa, no. Up uh, curbs. Okay. Do your weird run. Okay. Alexis Diner and Lane. Good times. Patty, is something wrong? I got something to say. When I first met you in the hotel parking lot, you mentioned Saint Rouge, right? I was gonna say, when you first met me five minutes ago... If you want to find it, maybe you should track down Professor R. Professor R? Yeah. Professor R owns the jazz bar on the other side of the bayou. Okay, Professor R, that's a new character. Let's remember that. How do you know that? Uh, because. Because, huh? Interesting. Hmm. Ah! Uh, what do those mean? Maybe they're new, um, buildings. By the way, Patty, what do you usually do when you're at home? Is this an interrogation? Oh, no. I just figured that since we're working together now, it'd be a good idea to learn a little more about you. Should an adult male like you really be asking a little girl this kind of question? feel like I heard a story about this sort of thing on the news once. <laughs> There's a time and a place for everything. You know exactly who I am, and I've also introduced myself to your father. Besides, you're the one who said you wanted to come with me. I was just kidding, jeez. You're an FBI special agent. Why would I ever need to worry? You shouldn't automatically trust someone just because they're an FBI special Fair. agent. Fair. One's profession and one's personality are completely separate things. For example... One special agent may fall spiritually in love with a genius criminal who enjoys the taste of human flesh. That's Hannibal. You pulled that straight out of a movie. <laughs> Just because it's a film doesn't mean it isn't deeply rooted in reality. You can't judge people solely based on where they work or how they look. You need to think hard and decide things for yourself. Hmm. Fun. Uh, but what if I just want to so check allow Twitter? Me to ask you this. Oh. <laughs> how do you feel about me? I don't know. I only just met you. <laughs> Fair. Exactly. Now it sounds like you're thinking. You should never feel the need to force an answer out or pretend like you know something you don't. Zach, Thank she's you. She's a good kid, isn't she? Honest and straightforward. Oh, wait, there's one thing I can say. Oh. What? When you talk to yourself like that, it really creeps me out. Did you start doing that after you became <laughs> an adult? Or have you just always done it? Either way, you should stop doing it. 
it's really weird and like makes me wince whenever I hear it. That's a you problem. Did you hear that? No need to worry. Neither of us are weird, I can assure you of that. She's probably just having trouble finding the right word to describe us. No, I think I'll stop there. Wouldn't want her to think we're getting desperate. Like I said, it's really creeping me out. <laughs> uh, all right, she's winning me over a little bit. Episode one, 2005. On the, n wait, did it say 2005? Yeah, we're in 2005 right now. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to remember the exact year this was. Yeah. All right, uh, on the next episode, everybody, we're going to go into the bowling alley. I'm interested to see what clues we get there and also what the bowling minigame is going to be like. Until next time, have a nice day. Be rack.